Hey everyone, Robin here. Um, today I am going to make some coasters using these um, like five inch coaster pre cut wood things that I got at Michael's and some white craft paint. Um, this could take you two to three layers of paint depending on the quality of your paint. Mine did take three layers. Um, I won't bore you with painting of the three layers. It's going to skip. Okay, this is after three coats of paint. Now I'm going to use my Hero Arts feather stamp that I purchased from Simon Says Stamps and Heidi Swap Black Archival Ink stamp my feathers. So I'm putting two on them. Cleaning off my stamp with my baby wipe. Now I'm marking at the inch and inch and a quarter marks, making like bars or stripes on my coaster. I'm going to do them so that I have um, a vertical and horizontal lines. You'll see here how it's going to make a bar. They're a quarter inch wide. I'm using my black Sharpie marker to do this. And uh, I do it this direction, and I'm going to rotate the tile and go in the other direction. And again, marking them at the inch and the inch and a quarter mark all the way across, and then drawing the lines through. Once we've com <clears throat> once we've completed this, excuse me, I'll take a drink. Once we've completed this step, we're going to go and in the spaces where they don't cross over. We're going to put like little parentheses, little four comma parentheses in the spaces, just sporadic, trying to, you know, know not necessarily with the pattern. You know, we don't need them all lined up and even. But this is going to give us an effect of having like rope or twine wrapped around these bars. Um, I'm not being careful as to making sure each one is spaced apart, you know, within that grouping of four. Some of them are a little closer, some of them are a little further apart. You know, it's just, uh, I'm not a perfectionist like that. Some people are, and if you are, then, hey, great, more power to you. I just, not like that. So now I'm using my painter's pen and I'm going to color it in. Now you can do this with your Sharpie, you can do this with your craft paint. Um, the two other that, others that I made before this, I used my craft paints, but I found that I had to go back and do a second coat. And um, just having to be so careful to not bleed out, you know, go out of the lines with my <clears throat> painting. I found that like uh, really a pain to have to do that a second time. And then I remember, oh, I bought these paint markers. You know, let me see if that'll work on these, and they work great. So just coloring it in, and you can start to see now it's looking like there is some dimension with those the feathers, like the feathers are laying on top of this woven, whatever you want to call it, bamboo screen. <laughs> I just think it looks cool. I just happen to like this. But I had been practicing with, um, I take Jenna to this art class on Tuesdays, and the art teacher there, she's a nice, little, nice sweet little old lady, but she was showing me this um, instruction booklet for Zen Tangle, or Zen Doodling, basically organized doodling. I'm sure most of you have heard of it. But, you know, I kind of liked it, how it looks, so I've been playing with it a little bit, and... Uh, this was one of the patterns that I, I really like. And I like the feathers. Um, I don't know, I just liked it. So, but it's, it's just interesting. Now I had, I had done like in my practice of this, I did it on regular paper and in the big white squares, I drew diagonal lines with the pen. But the Sharpie, you know, was giving me some difficulty making the, the lines nicely because of being on the paint 
Maybe it's because I didn't let the paint dry enough, but I decided not to do that on this. Now I'm taking my stencil brush, and I'm going to add just a little bit of color into the feathers. Um, believe it or not, in person, this yellow is like very pale yellow. It's just amazing to me how bright it looks on the screen. You know, maybe it doesn't on yours, maybe it's just on my computer screen, but it really looks bright to me, but in person it's just a pale splash of color. And I'm using my Sharpie again, and I'm going into the little gaps in the feathers where it would lay over the black bars, and I'm coloring those in. And you see me keep going back to my paper, that's because the, the paint is like clogging the marker, so I have to keep cleaning it off to be able to color it in. So once you're finished with this and everything is dry, you're going to want to coat it with some type of urethane coating. I used a polycrylic that I purchased when I did um, Jenna's dresser with the uh, chalk paint, and it's pretty sturdy. I put three coats on them. They look really nice, and on the bottom, you can leave it blank as is. You know, you can paint it, or you can take and put some cork or some felt. I plan on putting felt on the bottom of the mine, just so that it's you know, quiet, silent when it's placed onto the table or, you know, won't scratch or stick. So I'm just going to glue some felt on the bottom of it when it's finished. And I'm doing this two sides there in black that did not have the bar that goes along the edge. I don't know why I felt the need to do that, but I just did. That uh, was the polycrylic that I'm going to use. These are a couple that were already finished, and again, the yellow looks majorly bright on the screen, but I, I promise you, it is not that bright. And it was only used to add a splash of color. Well, thanks so much for watching. Have a great day.